In this video, I'm going to show you how to make watercolor stickers with items at home. No sticker paper is required. Instead of sticker paper, I'll be using clear packing tape. For the watercolor effect, I'm going to show you how to create it using markers. First, I'm going to paint the design of the sticker on paper. You can just use regular printer paper instead of watercolor paper. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any art, crafts, or DIYs. The way to get a watercolor effect is by using water-based markers like Crayola markers. I'm also using some water-based brush markers. First get a plastic bag or something with a slippery and smooth surface that the ink won't absorb into. I just use the packaging of my markers. Color on the surface with the marker. Use all the colors that you want in your sticker. Dip a brush in water and add it to all the colors to dilute it and make it lighter. Now you can paint with it just like regular watercolors. Don't add large amounts of water to the paper or it might rip. I used a brush to take a color and paint half a circle. Then use another color and paint the other half. Blend the two colors in the middle to create a gradient. Keep adding more colors on top of the sticker. When you run out of colors in your palette, you can add more ink by just coloring with a marker. Now I'm moving on to the next sticker. Using markers to paint creates a pastel watercolor look since the colors are lighter than normal watercolors. An easy design that you can make is a flower. First, choose your color and scribble lots of it on the plastic. Dilute it with water and paint a flower shape. It doesn't need to be clean or precise, just roughly paint a shape of flower petals. You can also add more or less water to the paint to create different shades of paint on the petals. Don't worry if it doesn't look like anything yet, because we are going to draw over it with pen once it dries. Lastly, I added a leaf on the side. I also made a pink flower using the same marker technique. This purple flower was made using watercolors. I added a dark spot in the middle to add darker shades to the petals. To get darker and more precise colors, you can just use regular watercolors to create the design you want. For the first one, I painted a circle with watercolors. Take a wet brush and apply paint in a half circle. Add water and blend the color downwards. Then add a darker shade on top and blend it downwards. Right now, they just look like color blobs, but once I wait for it to dry, I will add drawings on top. It will blend together and look nicer once it's dry. Here are some more examples of watercolor designs I made.
For the ombre sticker, I added a darker paint on top and blended it downwards with water. Try to get the color lighter as it goes down the paper. I added more water and diluted the paint to make it lighter. I used the lighter paint on the bottom and darker paint on top. Then I blended it all together. Wait for all the sticker designs to dry. Here are some of the stickers I made. Now you can draw or write things on top to decorate them. For the flower stickers, I first made a dot in the center with a black gel pen. Then I drew lines coming out of the center. Now you can start drawing the petals. I recommend drawing 4 to 5 petals per flower. Draw large petals with some dents or curves on them. You can be loose while drawing the flowers, it doesn't need to be perfect. The loose scribbly lines add to the effect and make it look nicer. Just loosely follow the edge of the watercolor shape that you painted. You can add details like this on the petals. Don't be afraid to draw lines outside or inside the edge of the paint. It might look hard but it's actually really easy and simple to draw. Finally, draw on the leaves. Here are some different types of flowers that I drew. I also used a white gel pen to draw some other designs. Here are some of my designs that I created. I made one with words like this one. The word love is written, is written in full calligraphy using a black gel pen. For others, I decorated with doodles. You can really just decorate it however you want or you can just leave them plain. Once you're done with all your designs, cut them out. You can leave a border around it to make it pop. For some of them, I cut directly around the edge of the drawing and left no border, but I think it looks better with a border. Here's how the ones I created turned out. I didn't end up turning all of them into stickers. Next, I'm going to turn the designs into a sticker. Get a piece of parchment paper, wax paper, or plastic bag for the peel-off backing on the sticker. I found that parchment paper is the easiest to peel off the sticker. Lay a piece of tape onto the paper or plastic. This will be the adhesive of the sticker, so it needs to cover the entire back of the sticker. You can use any type of tape, not only clear tape, but it needs to be able to stick to the surfaces that you want. 
Once your adhesive is all set up, place your stickers on top. This is optional, but you can glue them down to keep them in place. Now I'm just going to tape the stickers to cover them. Cut a piece of clear tape that's long enough to cover all of your stickers. Stick it down on one end. This will make it easier to apply. Very slowly and carefully, press it down on top of all of the stickers. Slowly work your way down from the end of the tape. Be careful not to create any creases or folds in the tape. Use a ruler, glue stick, card, or something to press out all of the air bubbles. I use the bottom of a glue stick to press out all of the bubbles. If your sticker is too big for one piece of tape, you can add another piece of tape. Just cut another strip of tape and layer it just a little bit on top of the previous tape. Now you can place your stickers on top normally. To cover the large stickers, first add a piece of tape on the top half of the sticker. Then add another piece of tape on top of the bottom half of the stickers to completely cover it. The last step is to cut all of the stickers out. Cut through all the layers. Make sure to leave a small border around the sticker while cutting it. This is important. The border will bond the tape together and prevent the sticker from falling apart. Here is the finished result of all my stickers. They are very pretty and I'm happy with how they turned out. Now your sticker is done and ready to be used. Just peel off the backing to the sticker and stick it anywhere. I use packing tape so it can be sticked to practically any surface like paper, plastic, phone cases, water bottles, notebooks, and laptops. Be creative and make any design you want. After using these for a while, I found that these stickers stick on really well and don't wear out easily. Give this video a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.